Well, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to a wonderful morning of No Man's Sky with Monty. And uh, we're, we're making old school money today. That's what uh, we're working on. Finally getting my farm back together after rebuilding the base. And uh, we're still here. We're still trucking. We're still moving right along. Uh, so one of my next things is I definitely want to go out and hopefully go find a nice new exotic ship or something like that. Get, get out to space travels. We've been stuck on our base for quite a while. But I have done some additions to the base. And uh, before we do that, let me make sure I empty up the refiner, which has some chromatic metal going. I was refining some copper. And then I also have uh, some paraffinium. I need to uh, process. That's going to take two minutes. So while we go explore the base. Now, I used to have this hallway go directly into the circle. Uh, but then it caused like the little trap with the stairs. So what I've done... Follow me. Come on along and uh, learn about the wonderful world of my... Whoops. Having a little bit of this. Having a little bit of this. Um, not much, just in this little new section. Everything else seems okay with the building in the ground. Had those problems back in the day with Imperion, and I just can't stop myself. I love to build into the ground. Uh, Alright, here we go. Little hiding, standing planter back there. Farming, making that old school money. Now, what do I mean by making that old school money? You might be asking. Oh, I gotta craft something. I had everything all prepped. Liquid explosives. So I'm even gonna th uh, put up on the screen a sheet that I found just browsing around on uh, uh, Facebook and in the No Man's Sky group. No, I, I did not build this, uh, but it shows along with the old school ways to make money, the new recipes to make money in after next. Um, so how it used to be is you take sel uh, selenium and frost crystals, you make your heat capacitors, and then you have your cactus flesh and star bulbs making your uh, polyfibers here. See, I even got, I can't make any more uh, heat capacitors. Then you take your polyfiber and your heat capacitor and that makes you your circuit boards. These things sell for a pretty good value. And look at that, we can keep making them. We can keep making two more. I'm going to move these guys down here. Just for the sake of knowing where they are. So that's as many circuit boards as we can build. These sell for over a million each. So that's about eight, nine million sitting right there. So next down the line of old school money, not the microprocessor, that's new news, is the star bulb and the copyright. That's what's going to get you the lube, making the lube. Let me verify that. Copyright and Gamma Root. My bad. Copyright and Gamma Root. Star Bulb, get out of there. You got all confused, mixed in with this. We're going to go ahead and find some Gamma Root for purposes of explaining this. And we're going to put this Gamma Root, which, what did I do with it? Did I put it in my starship? Exosuit, there we go. Uh, gamma root down here. That makes the lubricant. Use the lubricant and the glass to make some living glass. Living glass sells for a nice price as well. Takes a lot of the windows, so a lot of the frost crystals get eaten up on that. Uh, I can even craft some more glass here. And you'll see I'm short. Four glass, so it takes five, two, three, four, and that was pretty much everything I had, but I can make one more living glass. Uh, next, unstable gel, just some money making, uh, cactus flesh. But if you mix that unstable gel with the acid, you can get the liquid explosions. Uh, so that's what we're working on here. So we're making plenty of lube, like uh, making the acid. Uh, and don't forget about our nip-nip buds. That's a little side cash project we have going on. But that's old school money. Old school money. Circuit boards, liquid explosives, all that good stuff. Uh, but that's what I'm farming. That's what I'm working on. Next step uh, to really make the big money is we got to get some additional blueprints. Uh, for example, we need to be able to start making more of... Uh, like the iridescite, it was on that form. But I need I don't have the ability to make Magno Gold. I know where I can buy it. 
Uh, Grand Tine I can make. It's one of the few things I can make here. But it takes dioxide and ionized cobalt, just so you know. So that's a whole nother chain of stuff. I mean, I can make uh, dirty bronze, but geodesite, that's what we're going for. That's the lemium, herox, and the dirty bronze. See, so that's that's quite quite the step down there, but then that's selling for 150000 So I'm enjoying my farm that's set up now. I already had this going from before next. So this is going to make me the money while we keep on keeping on. Uh, oh, I forgot. I have a galactic trade terminal in my base. Come on now, and then we'll go out the back way. Sell your items from your inventories. Plus, I'm very curious on this screenshot here. I was going to post this up in the uh, No Man's Sky group just to try to see uh, what everyone's got going for their on-foot exploration, all those good things. Take a sip of coffee right quick. All right, what are we going to sell today? We know we just made a bunch of stuff, so let's sell. What do we got in the bank? 27 million. You guys remember that. Oh, also, I found an ancient key. I have to find something with that. Now, I could sell these for 961,000. Pretty good money, almost a million for the four heat capacitors, but we know we can turn those into something worth a little bit more, so we're not going to waste our money on that. Uh, lubricant, we could sell for over a million. You know what? On the lube, let's sell two of them. Drop it down to a pack of five. Uh, all right, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. Liquid explosive sells for almost two million. That's money. Circuit boards, that's almost 10 million right there, my friends. And we're, we're not getting a great deal, but we're gonna go ahead and sell it. When we have so many, we should probably portal somewhere, make some more cash off of it. Um, things that we have to deal with. Unstable gels I'm going to keep. And nip nip buds. Really? You're only going to sell for 17000 huh, for the one? Mm, I see how it is. Yeah, oh, I know what we forgot. Living glass. Living glass is going to be some big money as well. Showed, it just looked like glass to me, so I just didn't even pay attention to it. Where are you, living glass? Don't you hide from me. Uh, there it is. Almost, almost up there to four. 3.571821 million units. So we are now bumped up to 42 million just by farming. Doesn't really take that long, and I know I've got quite a few. My farm's a little chaotic at the moment. Star brambles. This is my one of everything uh, bed because that's why it even has the star brambles. Star brambles, uh, no more of these inside on the farm because they grow outside so there's absolutely no reason to grow them uh, in here. They're just taking up space. I mean I think they would probably grow a little bit faster. Doobie dooby doo. So as you can see we're working on the farm. So I go down get all my farming materials. You can even hold it down and do that, but sometimes it hits the hydro ponic tray, and then you gotta be filling it with the stuff. Fungal, nope, fungal clouds. Uh, big money for us right now is the cactus flesh, frost crystals. Come on now, where are you? Can't get enough solar vines. And we're going to keep on building the farm all the way out. And then I built a little escape hatch here. Oh, man. This is reminded me of the hatch from Lost. Man, they, they kept us think, wondering what the, the heck was in the stupid hatch forever. It wasn't even anything all that special. Well, I mean, I guess it was. But I wanted to put numbers on the floors here. But I couldn't change the color of the decals. And all the colors of the decals were just white. So no good, no good. So this is our little uh, back entrance into the farm now. 
You can kind of see the trade port off in the distance. We do have two landing pads that automatically adds the door here. We got people landing on both sides here. See, they come in real nice onto this platform. Pretty cool looking. Not gonna lie, go through the door. The Owl of Dreams. Sounds like a cool ship. Make an offer on it. Looks like an upgraded version of mine. You can hold 30 and you're a B class. I'm an S class and I can hold 31. Nanner, nanner. I don't look all that special and cool. But I don't have a cool name like yours. Uh, all right. You guys aren't exotic. We're going to have to go to a whole other system and probably find an exotic style ship. Uh, what, what do you, what do you, what are you selling, buddy? What you selling? I might actually buy some launcher fuel. It's expensive, but I don't want to have to make it myself. So pretty cool. Back way in. Uh, I can go snag a bunch of the dehydrogen, which is actually what I was short on for making that, that, uh, launcher fuel. And I want to get this all the way connected across. I want to put one more eventually. And it connects right into the main circle part of the base. Oh, got a little wacky there. So, ta-da, we're in the trade exchange. I don't know where my exocraft man went. There he is. Hanging out. You look like you could use a window, my friend. Ah, uh, I don't have the glass, man. I don't have the glass, man. Uh, can I make the glass? Yeah, I can. There you go. You happy about that? You happy? Uh, I'm gonna go with the coloring as well, of course. Get our Monte Rico gaming community blue and orange. Because that's just what we've gone with. Yeah, so we could go down here. And don't mind the ladder. I don't like staring off of that. I put doors at these different levels on this so we could get in and talk to our uh, different folks. He likes to put his feet in the ground. And this guy likes to just float on the wrong level. That's always kind of cool. But we're back. We're back here with... 20 million more than when we started the episode. So for 12 minutes, that ain't too shabby. That ain't too shabby. And I'm just happy that it is uh, daytime. Ferrite dust. We'll take your ferrite dust. I see your dust. <clears throat> and I'm going to make some more condensed carbon. Go ahead and give you a refill as well. So yeah, we got these guys growing out here. Uh, we could always plant more. We had plenty of paraffin for a while. So there's that. We could grow all of these. Uh, we could go portal somewhere. I mean, what are we what are we doing now? I still need to find a resource depot. I need to find that's what focused souls is. Uh, I need to take a picture of a airless world or something like that. Uh, ooh, return to mission agent and the new black. Valuable item sought. A feast. Whoa. Return to mission agent off planet. Off planet? That's a long way to go. Oh, what planet is... What planet would that be? I do have a base there, as you can see. I think... Oh, my. Monty, go boom. Uh, all right, let's go to the portal here. Ah, get up. One, two, three, jump. Okay, there we go. Base Terminus. So what I've been doing is I've been a little busy. This is the MGC Next Exchange, huh? No, that's the trade port. As in uh, Space Station trading port. The Dryda Outpost. The... Okay, filter. 
other players' bases. No, your bases. Ah. They have not kept the name, so I can't really... Oh, you know what? I probably didn't... I know I renamed one of these. Dang it. Yeah, we can hop around. What's this? What's that? The Sione Coker Outpost. Let's go see what's there. It's all in this system. But back to my half-thought was, yeah, I was going around putting down a portal on each planet in the system, so now I can just hop around if I need to go to a frozen planet or whatever. Don't even have to take my ship anywhere. All right, man, you gotta load quite the planet, don't you? There you go. There you go. Oh, look at that, right on a copper spot. How cool is this? I remember that now. This planet is really far away. Uh, let's see if we can get a view of our home. Probably not. I mean, this thing at full pulse drive was about a two and a half minute flight away from everything else. I was really happy to uh, have the resource. Look at that, there's nothing in the sky. Really lucky to have the resources to uh, make it out here. Anyway, this is where I was getting that copper <clears throat> that you saw me refining right at the beginning of the episode. So, pretty cool. We're only at 24%. Uh, As you can see, my lifeline is going down pretty hard. I got 8%. I want to use up my uh, terrain manipulator here. 1%. There we go. So, this is all this base truly is. It's actually... A, uh, a drop, actually. If I go here and go to Discoveries, it'll tell me. I am on MGC4. Now, I thought... MGC4 Outpost Alpha. See, I've renamed it. I wish the portal had that name so I could pay attention to where we're going. Anyway, I'm going to have to just write those down. See, it remembers the MGC1 Lube Farm... So what I've noticed is even though you have a portal, I accidentally have two constructor or base uh, computers at this base, and I'm thinking that it drops you off at the base computers. Anyway, not too sure. Dry to outpost. What you got for me? It's interesting how the one renamed yet this one did not. But I'm trying to think of the hype. The, the who, the booyah, the booyah, is that what's happening? Uh, what we're going to be doing, again, single player uh, recording right now, in the multiplayer world, don't have the upload power to bring this to you guys live streaming, but I will in about one week I get the internet upgrade, but then I go on vacation for a week, so in about two weeks, we're going to be back to our live streaming. This place was real cool. I even have a little tiny base here. Uh, so this is our frozen environment. There's some nice kelp uh, kelp sacks under the water there. I'll flip around and then boom, there's a little base. Uh, there's a little save point and... Oh, boy. That was a big old sneeze. Anyway, we're back. All worked out. Look at that. Portal's in here, right? See, and when we came here through the portal, we didn't show up at the portal. We showed up at the... Uh, the base computer. So this is, seems to be where you actually port. I am going to rename this one. No, I'm not, because I don't know where I are. Where I are. Where I are be. Arby's. Mm. We bring the meat. All right. Use the space station terminus to, to teleport to do a base at any time. Rename to MGC, which is Monte Rico Gaming Community, 3... Outpost. Alpha. It's a lot of stuff. However, it is what it is. No, you already name yourself. There you go. MGC3 Outpost Alpha. Done, done, and done. Gonna grab my rusted metal. Give me something good. Give me something good. Corvax casing. Rusted metal, which we can turn into ferrite dust. And another casing. Casings for everyone. 
Ooh, there's salt in these snowball melons. Did I see a... I thought I saw something. A beacon of some sort. No. Uh, oh, yep. I seem to be on the planet with the rings. Hello. Oh, you're coming in through the mountain, aren't you? Look at that. Smoking it through. Yeah. They figured it out one way or another. To the... Oh. Bird strike. Uh, to the... Mission agent. Who is off planet? I'm so confused. Uh, okay, there's our base off to the right. Our home planet, MGC-1. We're on MGC-3. Are you really off planet? Where are you hiding behind the rings? You're only two seconds away. Oh, I see. You were hiding at the space portal all along, which makes sense as a mission agent, which is why I was confused. But I went along with it anyway. Because I wanted to show you guys my outposts. So we're starting to expand. We're spreading the love. See, you guys can colonize on multiple places in my system. The Mama Six. Boy, how we love you, but we've got to get a better, bigger ship. I know you're S-Class. You're kind of my mini hauler. But I would love a good fighter. A little S-Class exotic would be nice. Just saying. Yin Yitz, Yin Yat, Yin Your Aka Traveler. A job well done is its own reward, they say. Uh, they do. Hand in missions, and we're gonna browse for some more. Really? Real okay, no, I get the neural duct. I'm like, I don't even think I have the 250 paraffinium minimum on me anymore. The Corvax presents a list of missions. Ah, I will take lighting the way because I have a microprocessor. I will take um, kill one sentinel quad. We've never even... I mean, we've fought the quads before. They're like the little sentinel dogs. <clears throat> Can I hand in the mission about the, uh, the microprocessor chip? Oh, you want me to deliver it to a depot? I got you. How many nanites do I have? Only 160. Not even worth walking all the way over to the other side. I did, however. Secret secrets. Changed my head. I'm back to the thumping headphones. Bopping. Bopping. You know how we do. A little electronica on our way as we teleport back to home. And uh, to our lube farm. Drink a coffee if you got it. Nose is running like crazy. I got no air conditioning. It's 100 degrees outside, and I'm recording without a fan on. Good times. Monty's baked, everybody. Come on now. Bacon in an oven while recording videos for you. Oh, I'm just gonna use my mouse and keyboard. Put my controller to the side. Wow, 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 wow. Actually. I notice I have the uh, shadow play on as well in the background. Ouch. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's save while we're here. Uh, can I go talk to this? Because this is a secure depot. And to be honest, I really wanted to see what's over at manufacturing facility right up there. I thought... You really want me to go off-planet? That's rude, bro. That's rude. 
<coughs> hum. I mean, really. And microprocessors, that's a weird delivery because you can just buy those anyway. My ship likes to hide down. Where's my ship? Uh, all right, let's look for it on... Okay, it's over there. It likes to put my ship in all kinds of weird places. Wow, that was an impressive parking job. All right. Let's get in here and get out of here. Come on, one, two, three. Act like it never happened. Whoa. This manufacturing facility was like right next to our base. Go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. No, no that's not what's happening. We are going directly to the base for free. And we don't even have to spend any launch fuel. T for light. T for torches. Even though I've never called a flashlight a torch before. Because I'm American. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I get it. It's torching. It's torching the light. Save and chart this unknown land. Phil. Fifri Dads. Fifri Dad wheel welds. Wields. Condensed carbon. Something we need zero of. Hey, look, they like doing little bits and bobs like I do. Serves no purpose, but it looks interesting. It's doing something. It must be. It must be! Ooh, caves. Caves with, with hazardous flora. Entrance much? Reinforced door. How do I... Oh. Pulse grenades! Get in there hard! The sentinels are searching for me. Warning, interloper. Uh, the outpost's sole focus is completely something, something intriguing. Storage vaults are at my feet, but are locked. Um, cancel the planetary scan. It's too big, you can't handle it. All scan data is lost. The installation is shut down remotely. I learned how to make organic catalyst. Nice. Manufacturing facilities. That's where we're running to now. Sorry about that. All right. Um, I can keep on searching. They're not going to find me. Three, two, one, nothing. Uh, all right. We want to see. Thermic. Con Whoa. Condensate and enriched carbon. Ooh. Um... Thermic. Oh, okay. We can make that. Sulfurine. Sulfurine. Okay, okay. Gonna have to go to my guide there. See what we need for that. Um. Um. Ooh, and we're gonna need to learn some more stuff to be able to make those. We used to be able to make those. That's all I'm saying. Some more nanites. It's on the pad, anything, nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing through the door. Sometimes third person mode is a little wacky. All right, time to head back out. Everything's all good. But we did pretty interesting stuff this episode. I gotta say we visited MGC3, MGC4. We got old school money making going, which is always a good thing. Uh, we need to still deliver the goods to the Secure Depot, uh, which is unfortunately on the other planet. I'm going to go ahead and do that on my own. Secure items for the client. Uh, what do we need to secure here? Gather the pyrite. We're going to have to go to a planet with some heat. With some heat. And the unfortunate thing is that actually means not in the system. Uh, we're going to have to system hop, I think, for that. We're pretty cold, pretty frozen. Oh, there was a knowledge thing there. Flip all the way around. What I'm going to do is go up high over the mountain. And, uh... Park over here. Oop, I got a little... Turned around here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Park in our own landing pads, thank you very much. 
And this is going to throw down the save, and that's going to call it for this another little shorty update. Can't be waiting until I'm back streaming, playing with everybody online, picking up some more missions, working it on out, loving the life of No Man's Sky, living the high life, watching the ships come on in. I'll see you all next time. You guys have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for continuing to tune on in. Let me know more of what you would like to see, missions you would like to see me accomplish. I gotta say, I'm kind of getting an itch to go back into space and fight a little bit as well. But you guys let me know in the comments. Do all that. Like, subscribe, all those funny things. And I will catch y'all next time. Peace, everybody. Thanks for watching.